Picture this. It's 2040 and a man is alone in his room having sex with a human-like sex robot with a VR headset attached to his face. The artificial vagina of the sex robot, having been modelled after a real woman's vagina, feels almost just like the real thing. The man puts his thumb inside the robot's mouth. The artificial lips of the robot wrap themselves around his thumb and begin to suck. The man feels the artificial tongue and artificial saliva around his thumb. The robot's breasts are big and filled with a soft, bouncy form of silicone that feels similar to real breasts. Inside his VR headset, he views the scene from a first person perspective. In front of him, he sees the face of his best friend's wife moaning with pleasure as he thrusts into her. The deep fake technology, having analyzed hundreds of her photos from her social media pages, as well as a number of voice samples taken from her YouTube channel, allow the technology to create an uncanny resemblance of her facial appearance and replicate the sound of her voice perfectly. This man, having received his VR headset and sex doll three years prior, hasn't had sex with a real woman and in almost two years. Having become accustomed to the supernormal stimuli presented by his VR headset, he is now completely unable to achieve an erection with a real woman. He is miserable and completely addicted. Yet in 2040, his behavior is seen as completely normal. This might seem like some dystopian fantasy novel, but this is exactly the future we're heading for. If our current trajectory as a society continues, there is absolutely no reason this scenario won't become reality. We're on the cusp of the next sexual revolution. Sex technology will always sell. It's technology that the biology of the human male is irresistibly attracted to. The sex tech industry was valued at $50 billion in 2020 and is growing at an annual rate 30% per year. Particular people are going to get insanely rich by selling us these technologies. Number one, sex robots. Number two, virtual reality pornography. Number three, deep fake pornography. And number four, augmented reality sex. These technologies are so powerful that they're going to ruin the lives of individuals all around the world and may even encourage the collapse of entire societies. These technologies are not just futuristic fantasies and they will soon be widely used around the world. They're going to radically change our lives and nobody is ready for it. Sex robots. Sex robots already exist. Real doll, which originally created lifelike sex dolls, has recently teamed up with AI tech companies and now offers fully customizable sex robots. You can customize the body type, the exact measurements of her body, the color of her eyes, and everything else you can possibly imagine, including the type of vagina, style, or color of pubic hair. The skin changes temperature, just as a real human body does. The hair feels and looks like human hair. Synthetic saliva, can be found inside the robot's mouth. And every day that passes, more and more research goes into making these robots as lifelike as possible. The AI technology inside the robot's head learns your preferences over time. And at some stage in the future, it will have the ability to follow your commands. You will be able to change the settings to give the robot the type of personality you prefer. As you may be aware, the number of sexless young men is set to continue with no real signs of slowing down. And these young men will be the perfect customers for sex robots. Sex robots line up with the biological drives of these young men perfectly. Older men too will be drawn to these sex robots. When it comes to mere sexual attraction, men of all ages tend to prefer younger women. These older men, who are no longer able to have sex with younger women, will be able to simulate the experience with these sex robots. As of now, there are two main barriers to men buying and using these sex robots. Number one, social stigma. The embarrassment and shame of keeping a life-size sex robot inside your bedroom is currently too much for most to bear. Having a sex doll or sex robot sends a message to the world I'm too much of a loser to get sex from a real woman. However, in the don't judge anyone culture we currently live in, it's entirely possible that one day this social stigma will disappear. As sex robots become more and more widespread, they may become normalized. For example, watching pornography was once seen by society as something shameful, but it's now entirely accepted by the mainstream culture. It's possible that sex robots will follow the exact same pattern. The second barrier to men buying and using these sex robots is the price. The price of a Harmony X sex robot currently stands at $6,149. 
As is the pattern with most new technologies, this price will likely decrease in the future, allowing more and more people access to these dolls. Sometime in the future, sex robots will likely be available for the same price as the latest iPhone. While many will use these sex robots purely for sex purposes, for others, their use will go further. Many will form a genuine bond with these robots. They will cuddle with them when they go to sleep at night. They will kiss them before they leave for work or university in the morning. They will lock eyes with the robot and pay her sweet compliments. They will tell them their secrets and the AI technology inside the robot will remember. For many, these robots will be their first romantic experience. While on some level, these young men will know that they don't have a genuine romantic connection with the robot, their biological instincts will be fooled into developing feelings for it. After all, there are already men out there who have developed romantic affection for dolls. Number two, virtual reality pornography. Of course, VR pornography already exists. Those who have a VR headset can, right now, enter pornographic scenes from a first-person perspective. In the future, VR pornography will be combined with physical sex technology, such as fleshlights and mechanical dildos that move in sync with the action happening on screen. Full body suits using haptic technology will be able to simulate the feelings of touch on any part of the body in sync with the action happening inside the VR headset. And further than that, sex robots could be synced to the pornographic content inside the headset, completing the immersive experience. For example, a man will be able to receive oral sex from a sex robot while watching a real girl perform oral sex from a first-person perspective inside his VR headset. And it won't only be human-looking girls that VR will be displaying to others. Others will choose to simulate sex with cute anime girls or maybe half-animal, half-human creatures, or maybe aliens, or anything else you can possibly imagine. When all of these technologies are combined together, an immersive experience will be created that we may as well call a sex simulation. Within the privacy of their own homes, people will be able to act out any sexual fantasy they can possibly imagine inside an incredibly immersive experience. Number three, deep fake pornography. Deepfake technology and voice editing programs like Adobe Voco allow you to put a face onto someone else's body as well as copying their voice. Deepfakes use AI to scan images of somebody's face over and over again and can then attach that face to any body of their choice. When the person speaks, the mouth moves in sync with the voice. Adobe Voco takes samples of a person's voice, rearranges them, and allows you to make somebody say whatever you want them to. If you felt like it, you could use Adobe Voco to make Donald Trump say, spank me daddy, or make an elegant BBC News presenter lady say, you've been a bad boy. While deep fake porn of celebrities already exists, it gets far more sinister than that. When deep fake technology becomes widespread and easy to use, anybody will be able to run images of people they know through the AI and put their face and voice inside a pornographic scene. To put it simply, you'll be able to take the colleague at work who you think is hot, take their face, take their voice, and have sex with them inside virtual reality. You'll be able to simulate sex with your friends, your friend's wife, your colleagues, your boss, your teacher, anybody. There's no real way of stopping the public accessing the technology, and we can assume that in the future it will become common knowledge that others can simulate sex with you without your consent. With no way of stopping others from using the technology, Technology, culture will have no choice but to accept this fact as a new reality. Number four, augmented reality sex. AR technology will allow us to put on a pair of glasses and see digital additions to the real world we see around us. Just think of the Snapchat filters that put makeup on you or make you look older. Well, guess what? These filters will also be used for sex. In the future, many couples will choose to wear AR glasses while they have sex. These AR glasses will be able to make their partners look younger, sexier, more handsome, increase the size of their muscles, increase the size of their curves, and edit their facial features. Elderly couples will use AR glasses to make their partner look like a younger version of themselves. Women will wear AR glasses and project an image of their celebrity crush onto their husband during sex. Others will use the glasses to project their favorite anime character onto their partner and engage in cosplay sex. In the future, using AR glasses or AR contact lenses while having sex may become completely normalized. 
Mainstream sources of information are usually positive about new technologies because being positive about technology is good for business. After all, there's no money to be made in people not buying and using new technology. It's good for business if sex robots become normalized. So we can expect mainstream media to focus on the positive effects of the new sex technologies. Sex robots will help already lonely people become less lonely. Couples will be able to use sex technology to spice up their sex lives. Some couples may use VR to simulate cheating instead of actually cheating on their partner. Pregnancies and STDs aren't a problem if you're using a sex robot. Young people could use sex robots and dolls to practice sex and educate themselves risk-free before engaging in real sex. Sex robots and other emerging sex technologies will be marketed by focusing on these positive attributes, but the inevitable downsides will likely be completely ignored. These new sex technologies will be highly addictive. Young men from the ages of 13 to 25 who are the most prone to addictions because their brains are not fully developed will become hopelessly hooked. This will be largely ignored by mainstream culture because addiction is good for business. These new technologies match up perfectly with male biological drives and will inevitably addict millions of men around the world. Many men will become completely uninterested in going out into the world and engaging with life when such thrilling sexual experiences are available to them in their bedroom without any effort required whatsoever. It will destroy marriages and cause broken families, causing children to grow up without a stable family life. No matter how lifelike sex robots become and no matter how immersive artificial sexual experiences become, they will always fall short of having sex with a real partner. Why? Because it's impossible to be respected by a robot made of silicone and metal. And on some level, men who sacrifice real relationships for intimacy with robots will always know that they have failed to become a fully developed man. The sex tech revolution is coming and we need to start thinking of exactly how we're going to deal with it.